Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio Dodrigal, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, three, three. Yeah, and the two white players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. There's the whistle, and here we go. Maicon goes long. Shot a goal! Golovin. Golovin plays it forward. He's gone out for a throw-in. Tetrinho. Michael. Tetrinho. Dodo. Cut out in the nick of time. Tete really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And the finish! He's got away with one there. And it's Sidibe. Hoists it high. Has a pop! Goal! Monaco! And Monaco take the lead! That's wonderfully done. Crisp hit, true finish. Ben Yedder simply knew the ball was asking to be hit first time because of the way it arrived. And boy, did he hit it. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Shapes for an overhead! Oh, just lacked a decent finish.
Maicon cuts it out. Looks to clip it forward. Nicely worked. Real chance! He scored! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser! Yeah, the pass was bang on and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. Donetsk. We're at the equaliser and we're all square. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go one better, possibly. Dodo. Shakhtar Donetsk can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Midway through the first period and it's looking quite a game here. Petrinho, good take and he's had a look. Petrinho! Monaco have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. It's out for a goal kick. to get it forward quickly Petrinho plays it out to the wing and here's Folland great strength too strong for his opponent Petrinho and it's Tete dinks one in and that's going to be a goal kick And here's Traore, and it's Tete. Tete plays it out to the flank. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. And there's the end of the first half. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in this second half. So both teams heading off for the break, an interesting game has brewed up here, hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but the score at half-time is 1-1. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Shakhtar Donetsk can feel really happy with themselves, the scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's Tete. Chance! That's gone a long way up and away. Shakhtar Donetsk making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front and this is something different. Sesk Fabregas and it's played forward. Keeper sends it forward. Out to the right. Enrique 
and it's fallen. Gets wrestled off the ball. Fallen. It's been caught there, it's a foul. Looking goes for goal. Abragas <laughs> with the short one. Stepanenko can get it clear. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Batia Chile. Enrique. Across the field it goes. Sidibe. Gelson Martins. Did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. And here's Traore. Out to the left it goes. Turns and goes back. And it's Mykon. Timely intervention. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And here's Martins. Dodo. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And he heaves it forward. And time is up. Passion and panache and perseverance and in the end parity. A really good game to watch. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps one team might be...